Hi guys! Okay, today I am going to make a recipe from this cookbook called Chloe's Kitchen, and it's by Chloe Coscarelli. You may have heard of her already. She won um, the Cupcake Wars on the Food Network, and she's a vegan chef, and she got a lot of acclaim from that. So today I'm going to be making a recipe in this book, which is a blueberry pancake recipe. Now, I've already made vegan pancakes from Colleen Patrick Goudreau's cookbook, but this one is a little different. It, it doesn't call for any oil nor um, non-dairy milk. In fact, the ingredient list is really simple. And, uh, of course, I'm going to add the blueberries to it. The picture looks amazing, and we'll see how they turn out. So, it calls for one cup of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three-quarter cup water, three tablespoons of maple syrup, plus a little extra for serving, and eight ounces of frozen blueberries, plus some canola oil. So really minimal ingredients. And I've already got the one cup of flour right here. And I'll tell you what it says to do. So uh, in a large bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. And in a separate bowl, whisk together the water and maple syrup. So I'm going to start this stuff right here. Let me just actually put that there. So, a tablespoon of baking powder. So I have my baking powder here. Hold that off. Tablespoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and the, I think it's a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. That's something that I added to the recipe when I made the version from Colleen Patrick, Patrick Goudreau because I love cinnamon. Okay. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And now, since I already, I've, I have my three quarters of a cup of water measured out in here. I'll just use this as my additional bowl instead of getting another bowl dirty. So, in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix the maple syrup. Sorry guys. And I have this big thing of maple syrup right here. Let me actually try standing that book up. I'm going to lose that page probably. need one of those handy dandy book openers, holder openers, something like that, right? How's that for the English language? Okay. This is a brand new um, container of maple syrup. I got this at Costco for I think 12, 12, 12 something. It's one liter of pure maple syrup. So three tablespoons seems like a lot. So this is three quarters of a cup of water. I'm going to add three tablespoons. So I'm just going to whisk that. You know what? I'm going to just use this. Let's make, use the least amount of utensils as possible. Although granted, I do need a fork. So that's mixed. And now, and let's just read again what it says to do. So add the liquid to the flour and whisk just until combined. Do not over mix. The batter should have some lump. So this is basically just what uh, Colleen Patrick Goudreau said. Oh, I forgot. Okay, wait a minute here. For each pancake, pour batter. Okay, so I was actually expecting to add the blueberries now. But what it says to do instead is to sprinkle some blueberries into each pancake. 
once you put them in the skillet. So okay, I'll try that method. Or you can pour them on top after you've made this, but I want them incorporated into the pancakes. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just mixing this up, guys. I'm going to try not to overmix it. Okay, that's good. All right, I'll get my pot heated and start cooking. Okay, I have my pan heated and on medium heat. And I'm just, this is what the mixture looks like. And I'm just going to put some in the pan. And now as I do that, oops, yikes, I'm going to put blueberries on top. That's a bigger one. Let's see how. Okay. All right. Let's do that. And I will. I'll be back shortly, guys. Now one of the tips it says in the recipe is that when bubbles start to appear in the center of the pancake, it's time to flip. There are bubbles appearing, but not quite the center, so I'm going to wait a little bit, hoping that these ones don't get burnt. I turned the other ones already, and uh, I just have them in my toaster oven, keeping warm as I make the rest. Okay guys, so here are the pancakes, and now I admit they're really thick. Well, that's fine. They're really thick, but because they're really thick, I I warmed them in the toaster oven, hoping, you know, if they weren't quite cooked through, that they would be. So, my daughter's eating them, and she said they taste sexy. Okay, so, I'm going to put a little maple syrup on mine, and taste this one. This looks like it possibly could have been cooked a bit longer compared to like that, but let's see. Mmm, very good. Quite delicious. Very cinnamony. Yeah, these are these are delicious. Really fluffy and nice. Mmm. Total win, guys. Obviously, you can put different fruits in here if you like. If you don't like as much cinnamon, you can put less. But as my daughter said, they taste sexy. Thanks for watching.